इंडिया मून मिशन चंद्रयान थ्री विक्रम लैंडर विल बी लैंडिंग ऑन साउथ पोल ऑन द मून लेट्स हैव सम मोर इंफॉर्मेशन वॉट ऑल इज गोइंग ऑन वॉट प्रिकॉशंस हैव बीन टेकन बाय इसरो दिस टाइम राउंड लेट्स टॉक टू डॉक्टर प्रमोद काले फॉर्मर डिरेक्टर इसरो या सर वॉट वुड यू लाइक टू से वॉट आर यर वर्ड्स हाउ एक्साइटेड आर यू आई एम वेरी वेरी एक्साइटेड right from the beginning when we started with the chandrayaan program uh, i got involved uh, even after retirement uh, for making certain that uh, the receiving station at bailaru where uh, we are receiving the signals from uh, the moon as well as uh, signals from our uh, vehicle near the moon as well as when we went up to the mars that station was going to be constructed and we wanted to make certain that the antenna that we are, which we were going to build for that 30 meter in diameter would actually be able to meet all the specifications which we were planning when chandrayaan 1 was launched it was really very very exciting i was there at the time of the launch and also later on when the moon impact probe uh, crashed on the moon on 14th november the children's day i am uh, quite excited that uh, now that we have got up to the chandrayaan 3 chandrayaan 2 Uh, we had a problem. The orbiter is still working, and using that orbiter, the data which we got regarding the images, that is the one that is going to be fully utilized for making certain that our Chandrayaan three will be able to land at the desired location. Uh, excitement is there because we are got up to that particular point. We have now entered into an orbit which is 100 kilometers in the height on one side. and 30 kilometers uh, height on the other side and we will be able to successfully land chandrayaan 3 lander this time uh, the problems that were noticed in the chandrayaan 2 lander mission uh, have all been corrected as much as corrections as were possible in this month of may uh, 23 uh, we had a major review of all the actions that have been taken and after that particular review it became quite clear that most of the problems have been fully taken care of we have been able to reduce the weight because on chandrayaan 3 we are not carrying a orbiter only the propulsion module is there so the weight of the lander has been increased we have added more fuel into the lander the lander legs have been now strengthened all the four legs of the lander have got uh, additional shock absorbers so that uh, once we decide to land we should be able to take certain amount of shock currently the velocity of the uh, satellite uh, the chandrayaan uh, uh, lander is uh, of the order of 1.6 kilometers per second and that velocity has got both the forward as well as downward component and this will have to be completely brought down to almost zero that is we will have to bring it to the level of only 1 to 3 meters per second only when we are able to bring it down to that level then we can safely land it there tell us something about the landing spot how it was finalized and what is the uh, measurement of that spot uh, landing area which has been uh, decided uh, is 4 kilometers in length that is in the same direction of the our motion of the lander in the orbit and across it is 2.4 to 2.5 kilometers we want to land exactly at the center point of this particular area that has been selected uh, using the images which we got from the chandrayaan 2 orbiter those images have been analyzed and we are trying to make certain that there are no very large rocks in that particular area but yet there are some rocks which have been found which could be about 1 to 2 meters in height and uh, the lander once it starts approaching that area we should be in a position to avoid them the images are stored and the Im- images of the exactly the from the camera which we have on the lander those images will be compared and according to that the lander will be steered that kind of experiments will be carried out which never happened while other missions moon missions landed near equator one of the first uh, major experiment is going to be that we should be able to actually check whether 
there is a water on the some of the areas of the south pole of the moon that is the one major experiment second uh, experiment would be that we have got a rover also on the rover there is an experiment in which using a laser uh, system we should be in a position to determine the element composition of the soil on the uh, moon uh, that is one of the major experiment that is going to be there also we will be able to uh, deploy a uh, laser retro reflector using this laser retro reflector it should be possible for us to actually um, measure the distance from the earth to the moon very very accurately uh, on the propulsion module itself there is a added, uh, added experiment a very interesting uh, thought has been uh, going through and that is uh, from the space when we look uh, around earth is the only planet on which we today know that there is life we know the sunlight reaches there it uh, gets reflected scattered from the atmosphere also so when we take an image of the earth we know how a planet which has got life on it actually looks like so this information will be useful to determine what should we be looking for if in the future in some not in our solar system but in another uh, system star system if we were to look for a planet so this information will be extremely useful we, on the uh, lander also we have got uh, a seismometer to find out about if the moon has got some seismic activity just like earth has got the seismic activity if the moon has certain seismic activity we should be able to detect that we should be able to detect how the heat flows heat transfer is actually taking place on the moon whether some heat is coming from inside and some heat is going in from the outside you mentioned about heat what is the temperature during daytime on this uh, surface the daytime when there is a sunlight the temperatures can go as high as about 120 degrees centigrade and when the uh, sun is uh, not there when it is night there on that particular location then the temperatures can go as low as minus 173 degrees centigrade means you are excited oh certainly <laughs> i am definitely excited and i am quite hopeful that this will turn out to be a successful landing so you have heard dr pramod kare former director isro excited about moon mission 3 chandrayaan 3 when vikram lander will be landing on south pole of moon with cameron gopal harne jis pankaj khelkar in pune for india today